I thought I'd do another wig review for you. This is a wiglet, or some people call it a topper, from Renee of Paris. It's just a small wig that goes on the top of your head, but the wefts of hair don't come down on the sides or the back. So it is more lightweight, which is good. It's a little more comfortable, especially if, like me, you have a large head, and that one-size-fits-all average cap for full wigs doesn't quite fit comfortably for you. It's also a little bit less hot. Here in Texas it's 90 degrees today and I managed to wear this. It was a little warm but not unbearable. Um, it is synthetic hair so I don't think this is heat safe but it is synthetic so it's a little warmer in the summertime than a natural hair, real human hair would be. I do like the color. It does match my bio hair. It's a dark brown. So you can see I have my own hair peeking out on the sides and a tiny bit at the top to give you a natural hairline. Uh, so most people will not know you're wearing a wig unless they know you very well or they look at the top of your head because there is permatease. Um, there is no lace front or monotop or anything on this. So you won't have that natural parting that you might get with a more expensive um, wig topper. I'll go ahead and show you the sides. And the back. I do wear this pulled back because that's how I wear my normal hair is pulled back. So it's the what I'm comfortable with. Um, you can style it down depending on the length of your hair. Uh, my hair is a little too long, it doesn't match the texture. So I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like when it's not pinned back. It does have a very natural density and feel to the hair fibers. And I've had this a couple months, so it's still in pretty good condition. You can see my own hair doesn't look quite right. Maybe if I styled it, um, it might look a little better, but overall my hair is just too thin. But it does have a little bit of a bump at the top. And I'll go ahead and take it off. It's got four pressure sensitive wig clips in it. So this is what it looks like on the inside. I believe they call this a medium length. Yes, in dark chocolate. You can go ahead and see the number. I can't tell if you can make it out. Somewhere I have the tag that says that it's Retin-A of Paris, which is the same brand as like Noriko and those. You can part it a little bit differently than I have and just train it. But to put it on, I actually like to close my clips and that way it pinches less and pulls until I position it where I want to go. And then I open up that clip and push it back down. It only needs a few strands of hair to be secure. And if you're not sure after that, you can always add more bobby pins. And then for me, I just pull it straight back and clip it. And then you can pull the bangs out a little if you want. And then I use bobby pins to secure the sides. I thought I would show you what this wiglet looks like um, with none of my hair. And when it's pulled, you know, the wiglet's not pulled back. So this is all the topper. And it's a dark chocolate brown. And it has a few layers. It does have bangs, that um, side sweat bangs, but you could trim them to be forward if you wanted. So this is the side, the other side, 
The back's not going to look the greatest because my hair is pinned up um, underneath the wiglet. But if you had short hair and you just let your hair be down, it would look very natural. So here's the wiglet um, with my hair pinned up underneath, like way up top underneath. Um, and so you can see the actual length. You can get wiglets that are shorter and you can also get them that are longer. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions, please leave them below and don't forget to like or subscribe. Thank you.